Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over a cryptocurrency called Quant. Explain to you the correction could be over. Now I'm going to show you some things you're going to want to pay attention to. Okay. This, uh, this coin is a very, very bullish coin in my opinion. So let's go over the details real quick. It's making a Elliott Wade channel. I put it on there uh, various ways to make sure that it was a channel and it's doing channeling to a T. Here on the weekly chart, you can see here on the RSI, I'm on Coin Trader Pro, and this is where I can get all the data for uh, Quant, it seems. The other ones, I couldn't get it all. So it's come down and it's, uh, it's taken everything out on the weekly chart over here for that wave, okay? So it has, Quant has reset its whole cycle. Now here's the thing with this channeling that it's doing um, it doesn't necessarily have to come all the way outside of there, and, and it might not. I'm going to present some information to look here to see it possibly could be finished. There's a chance. Now, why would I say that? One of the reasons I'm saying that is the DXY is coming up on a peak. I'll present this information a little bit later. Okay. Now, if you want to go study on channeling, there's some information I put on here for channeling on a, uh, figuring out the, five, the fifth wave on a channel. This is a really good document. I might throw a link down in the description if you want to look at that right down here. And um, by the way, too, while I'm at it, uh, going over fourth wave ratios, here's fourth wave ratios of how deep they could go. So people don't think fourth waves can go that deep. They've studied uh, fourth waves going all the way back to 1930s. And you can have fourth waves will go 10% of the time, retrace 62%, 50 to 62% and more than that 10% of the time. So fourth waves can go deep, FYI, let you guys know. So here's the deal with Quant. It's doing some nice channeling, all right? And this is likely the path that Quant is going to be taking on that third wave, come down in this uh, target area box, and it will have uh, somewhere in this area of a fifth wave move up to possibly near 4,000, and it can have a throw over like that, okay? if you are in this coin and FYI, you're gonna to wanna to have this on your chart, okay? If you see that wave above there, that's gonna be definitely your cue to get out, okay? Right here. You see it, do a throw over just like that. You wanna get out, because now it's gonna be correcting this whole cycle. Quant will correct this whole cycle like this, okay? all the way down, who knows how deep this will go. Okay, so it'll be correcting that whole cycle right there. You wanna be aware of that. That's what's gonna be happening. There's your uh, cue to get out. So where that's going to end up, you know, it could be there, here, you know, how long will it take? Who knows? Probably, uh, I'm going to assume this one took from March of 20 to September of 21, so a year and a half. So maybe like a year, more or less, something like that, maybe a little bit more, okay? So here's the deal. Now we want to uh, figure out if the correction's over. I had targets on uh, Quant. I'm going to go out to the uh, daily chart for you guys. And I had targets on Quant from about 42-ish down to as low as uh, 24. And uh, the fourth waves can go outside of the uh, channel. Contrary to popular belief, fourth waves can go outside the channel. That's actually a really good sign sometimes, uh, depending on who you follow. When the fourth waves go outside the channel and they go significantly deep outside the channel, they usually have an explosive. That's usually your sign an explosive fifth wave up because they corrected so deep on the fourth wave and they'll have an explosive fourth wave. This one doesn't look like it's gonna go too much outside the channel, not likely. Um, I'm going through these waves, just think it's a simple uh, zigzag move that it did, which would be just like this guy, simple zigzag. It could be a WXY. I don't want to go too much into the details of it. In my opinion, it's it's done. This wave is becoming too big, um, too big. Because if you're bearish, then this is this whole thing would be like a W. It's making an X to come down for a Y to break a series sequence on Quant. Just to let you guys know that would not be good for break uh, breaking this sequence on Quant if it would be doing this. I don't think so. I don't think so um, that it's doing that. That's just my take on it. One of the reasons why is I'll go back over to the DXY is the peaking out of the DXY 
And uh, once this is finished, you have to realize this is a slow moving asset. This could take another 30, 45 days to complete and then start ma uh, making its journey down, okay? So you have to be patient with the DXY. You can see over here, just to make this leg, it took from January 17 to, you know, that took one month right there, okay? And then if you go up here again, from basically February all the way up there again, you know, another month to make that move. So there could be some more time on that. So that's the other reason why I say this is a possibility, okay, that it's done with its correction. And then if you, I'm gonna go in here a little down to the four hour chart and show you guys that this is a possibility of the move that Quant is making right now. And uh, you can see it's it's making a, uh, how I would present it is, is a one. There's, you can see a little bit of a three way move in there on this one and then a second wave and then a third wave, fourth, and then possibly a fifth right here to finish it up. So here's the deal with quant. This is what you wanna look for, okay? If it does maybe something like that, which would be a, a diagonal type move that it, that it could be making, okay? Here's the deal with quant. That would be the wave one, and it's going to come back down. So when Bitcoin dumps, it's all the way up here to, let's say, 80 bucks. Come back all the way down, all the way down, probably to that area, bottom of the channel, maybe even go right outside the channel right there, and then it can swing back up like that. Okay, so that's a significant drop. Could it hold on to that? It could. This will be a significant drop of, say, almost 50%, and it could hold on to that. This would be your line in the sand. This is where you will have your answer. If it breaks that, then you'll know that this was not impulsive. It was corrective. It'll come down. So that's where you want to have check that area. And then even on a minor wave, a minor wave up, it'll do a small little move off of there like that. And then you can pick it up again and you'll know with quant. That's what you want to look for. There's a just looking at it, there's a really good chance that, that this is what I think it's making. There's a really good chance that the uh, correction could be over. Then again, not financial advice. You want to pay attention to it to see what it's doing. There's already, it already did uh, a nice move off of here of, you know, 83%, 83%. So more than likely, in my opinion, this is some sort of impulsive move off of there. Okay, whether it's corrective right now, we're not going to know for sure till it's complete or whether it's, uh, what I mean corrective, is this A, B, C type move? That's what I mean by corrective. Or is this actual impulse to go into a third wave, okay? And uh, the overall picture with it, it looks really, really good with Quant. Uh, I think Quant is gonna have greener pastures here probably in the near future. So what it will be doing is, in my opinion, this is not a five wave move right here that it did. This is more of a three wave, in my opinion, that it actually did right here, so like this. Um, more than likely something like that, guys. Did like a three-way move. So you can expect something over here similar like that, okay? Down for a B and then move up onto a C. Something like that, guys, to complete this whole sequence like this on quant for a one, two, three, four with uh, target areas of 2,000, 4,000, maybe even as high as, high as $6,000. Um, don't count on those higher targets, but like I said, once if it, if you see a throwover like that, that's your uh, that's your time to get out on that of this coin. And you can see, uh, I think it's more of a three way move over here too. So like a A B type C move over here. Well, however you want to do that, three way move here and more of a three way move. You could possibly maybe get a uh, impulse out of this. Um, you know, there's there's just on this weekly, uh, there's no divergence. And that's that's common with these moves. Sometimes you won't see the uh, divergence. Let me check the uh, daily. Let's see here. Yeah, you, so you can see it, there's no divergence on that move. So it's more than likely a uh, three-wave move that it quant did. So if it did a third three-wave move over here, likely that's what's going to happen over there, guys. So just to let you know. Uh, for this uh, coin. It's an extremely bullish coin, and it's going to likely, in my opinion, make some massive moves right, right in this area. Once, uh, like I said, the DXY peaks, starts trending down, Bitcoin, in my opinion, will be in that area forming the bottom. 
uh, down there. I have targets of about 16,000, 17,000, 15,000. It could go as deep as maybe look down below that or something like that, possibly. Don't think so. I'm really still looking for about 16,800 is my target for Bitcoin. And once that's done and then quant, quant can make a move. You have to remember too, these moves, they do this type of channeling. These moves can happen quick and, and they do a long correction. This B wave will take some time and it'll be a quick move up. You made it all the way to the end of my video. Do me a favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.